An enthusiastic crowd on hand here at the Indiana State Fairgrounds as we are getting ready for quarterfinal action. Hi, Gary Lee along with Army Armstrong. Now we look at the pairings for round two. The Bigfoot Ford, Bigfoot 8 Andy Brass will go up against Steve Hess in Nightmare, the driver from Columbia City, Indiana. Also, a couple of new names on the circuit. Eldon DePew in Taurus, Nick Rossi back in his Outlaw. Also in round two competition, we'll have a pair of Chevrolets, the Micro Machine of Bob Breen, and the Carolina Crusher with Gary Porter. So the fast qualifier is Bigfoot. Andy Brass, and there is a look at Andy out of St. Louis, Missouri, the two-frame Ford, Bigfoot 8, and he goes up against the Penda truck, the nightmare of Steve Hess, Columbia City, Indiana. Watch Hess's front wheel, Gary. He's rolling into, they're, they're actually digging right there. There's about a three-inch indentation in the track where they're actually digging holes. So right now what I'm saying is both of these trucks are sitting down in a little valley. The first move is an up move. Boy. Brass. Up. Speaking of up, yeah. look at the air and the hang time of Andy Brass and Bigfoot. You know, Steve Hess is a player, man, and Brass just thumped him on the top end of this track. Look at the half track lead that Foot has. Now that's the difference in the new suspension on the left and the older suspension on the right, right there. Can't make it any clearer, Gary. The newcomer, Eldon DePew in Taurus, survives first round competition. He puts his neck brace on there. Out of Granite City, Illinois, the nephew of the truck owner, Jack Wilman Sr., and here is Nick Rossi in the Outlaw. You know, during the interview a minute ago, I noticed Rossi is very relaxed. He's the owner of the truck. He's actually having fun here, and he's not afraid of this kid. Look at here. Rossi's going after him. And Rossi, well, wait a minute. That's yeah. almost a dead heat. Let's wait for the official word on that one. Nick Rossi can still drive a monster truck. He just proved it right there. He drills his kid on the line. He drilled him on the line, but Eldon DePew comes back right here over that second set of cars. Look how close it is. You got to call it. I can't. I can't call it. Let's wait for the official word. Right there it is. Nick Rossi, the outlaw, takes the victory. He's with Army. Well, Nick Rossi and Bob Breen are showing us old monster truck drivers can still be good monster truck drivers. You look like a kid out there. I'm ready. I'm, I'm psyched. I'm just ready to go. You're having fun today, aren't you? I'm having a blast. Well, we'll see you in the next round. Good luck to you. I'll be there. <laughs> well, you can see the enthusiasm, the joy written all over his face as we take a look at Gary Porter in the Carolina Crusher, the big A auto parts Carolina Crusher. And he will face off against Micro Machine, and that is Bob Breen, the Breen Brothers Racing Machine. You know, the, the track crew wants to thank you for letting the starter use your rubber gloves in order to line <laughs> these guys up today. Those Gary. are not my Simpson fire retardant <laughs> gloves. Boy, this Porter, is going to be Gary Porter. Yeah. He's for real. And right here, Gary, you're looking at the future of the sport. Here are two high-tech trucks. They make a good run. The idea scenario is to get your suspension literally to land like a wet sponge to absorb the energy, isn't it? Well, of course, the suspension system allows the truck to land and the driver get back on the throttle, get that power back to the ground. It was all Gary Porter, and he's standing by with Army Armstrong. Gary, you can almost tell how you're going to leave the line that time. You were not going to be left at the gate this round. No, you know, I got a new motor in it. I've changed the suspension some. The truck's, you know, working and handling totally different. You know, I hadn't got used to it yet. You know, I am winning the races, but I still need to be running a half a second faster than what I am if I'm going to win here today. What are you basing that on? Well, you know, my reaction time is a little bit slow today. My suspension, I'm getting a little bounce, you know, between the two sets of cars. And the motor, I'm not really turning the blower up like I was at one time, and I still have, you know, some minor motor adjustments to make. We'll see you in the next round. Okay, thank you. As Gary Porter says, so many factors involved. As we take a look at the semifinal matchup, Bigfoot and the Outlaw, and then Taurus, the fast loser, goes up against the Carolina Crusher. The two winners will meet for the championship. Andy Brass, St. Louis, Missouri, Bigfoot number eight. The entire Bigfoot family, I think, is here this weekend well, in Indianapolis. You know, that's an interesting point. They are. As part of this jamboree, the people bought a ticket. They not only get to see monster truck racing, the custom truck displays. Bob Chandler brought all the Bigfoot trucks over, but this is the one they're all looking at right now, and he's got problems. Oh, and yes. And Nick Rossi's going to the next round. Nick Rossi, the outlaw, he has some trouble on his landing. Well, any something landing is you can a miss walk away from is a good landing, and that's proof of it right there. And Rossi, I tell you, what happened was front-wheel drive only. 
Watch the dirt get kicked up on the starting line. Rossi doesn't worry about it. He's driving his own race. He has no idea where Andy Brass is. He's got tunnel vision. He's looking at one thing, the finish line. Well, Andy Brass climbs out of Bigfoot. There was a mechanical problem there. And he takes a look at the, the rear drive. You were right, they only had front wheel drive. They're looking down there at the uh, transfer case right now. So a uh, big foot out of competition, but here's your winner, Nick Rossi. Nick, when you came into the pit area, a lot of guys just kind of thought you were playing. It's final time and you're gonna be in the final. You get real serious when you get up in that big truck, don't you? Yeah, it's a completely different ball game when you get to the line. Everybody's friends in the pits, but it's blood and guts at the line. So Rossi now will watch Gary Porter in the Carolina Crusher as he faces off against Torres. Torres with Eldon Depew out of Granite City was the fast loser in our last round. Both of these drivers have one thing in common. They've both been beat on the lights today. Neither one wants it to happen twice. Here we go. Good start for both, but right now it's Gary Porter. He powers out. Eldon dips the front end going over that second set of cars, and Gary Porter in the Chevrolet, the Carolina Crusher, sponsored by Big A Auto Parts, takes the victory. So we will have a Ford and a Chevrolet in the championship shootout here at Indianapolis. Look at that nose over attitude of Taurus. Now he says that's an easy truck to drive. I don't know, Gary. That, what, uh, his idea of easy and mine could be two completely different things. Well, there's a look at Gary Porter. He will be in the championship against Nick Rossi. We're coming back for one more pass. <laughs>